Right, welcome to episode 8 of this Let's Play series. Uh, this is Interstellar Space Genesis, and um, this is about the uh, stage of the game. But around turn 100, the game gets very, very interesting. We're trying to come back down here to sort of, uh, to, to essentially catch these this battleship, uh, the destroyer and the frigate, uh, with our fleet. We've got our fleet of one cruiser, one destroyer, and two frigates coming back in. Our ships should be stronger than their ships, but we'll see how we go. Uh, we've got, sort of got longer range beam weaponry that we've, we've focused on. We're a very aggressive race. They've now come into here, unfortunately. We had to give up this system to go back and do this, but that's okay. We, it's, I think it's more important that we actually look after our, our home systems and try to destroy as many of their big ships as possible. I can play this containment, so we can do this anywhere we like. Containment field can be applied to any system in supply range that has been explored, or at least a basic scan level. Uh, it deploys energy field that traps all enemy fleets in a system. Um, trap fleets cannot leave the system. Trap fleets cannot flee from battles. The duration is five turns. I think we might throw that down now. That way we've got a 25 turn cooldown. I, I think getting the battleship will be pretty important. Let's do it. There we go. Containment. <laughs> so we are going to be chasing these things down in the next turn. We move faster than they do, so we're going to get there at the same time that they do. So we've got next turn. Okay, here we go. So they've got their battleships. They've got a um, they've got a commander here, uh, Simone Blackwood, on the frigate, but not on the battleship. Um, we're not seeing much that we we don't know much about this one just yet. We're going to have to sort of scan these to find out more about what's going to happen when we go into battle. Uh, they're actually attacks the Dasbot Empire. They're actually attacking us. <laughs> okay, well, they can try do, doing that. They've got a saboteur. Uh, they're trying for sabotage. I'm not sure how that one actually works. Um, we'll go to combat. Now, what's the sabotage going to get up to? Drexana. Um, we do actually have this as well. All right, to, to combat. So with our battle station, I'm going to scan... Uh, we've got two action points everywhere. Let's just scan, first of all, the big the big ship. We'll go to the battleship. This one's got a hell of a lot of uh, shielding, actually. This one's got no shields and no shields. So let's try this one first. It's got nuclear missiles. Okay, so the nuclear missiles aren't as strong as ours, but they've got a, they've got a lot of them. Okay, so this is quite the, uh, quite the beast. Um, we can actually hit these. Let's go, first of all, and just destroy the smaller ships. Uh, so we've got... 120% damage on all of, on all of these. This is going to do the fusion beam will do minimum five, maximum of ten. But we've got a, that's two. That's two and seven. So there's a chance we could kill this one, but not really kill that one there. Let's just take them out. Oh, that was the missiles. It's doing. That's okay. I don't mind that. Uh, I would have liked to have focused more on on the. Um, I'll use this one to focus on the others. Let's just go forward a little bit. Now these big missiles will be coming through. I've only got two laser point defense, so we'll see how we go with these. Um, I can move this one up, which then brings this one into range. Okay, we've done damage to that one. I can't scan that one uh, because of that one that we just did. We've, got, we've only got this thing here scanned at this, at this stage. Uh, the frigates, we've got two frigates. Again, let's just move up into range. I think we'll do that with both of these. Actually, we'll move these. Actually, what I might do is I might move this guy here. We're going to scan this one here and just sort of see what they've got. They've got nuclear missiles as well. So they've, they've got all on. They've got basically nuclear missiles everywhere. Um, we'll take this one out. So we'll just keep on focusing in there. And then these, I'm just going to keep on pushing down to sort of try to get rid of this frigate early. Let's just go to there and just sort of get a, an idea of the range. We don't have to go very far. Bang, gone. <laughs> and then we can do the same thing over here. We'll just go to where we've got the first turn. So we're probably going to have to go all the way out. Oops, hang on, that's all we, that's all we could do there. All right, that's nothing we could do. We'll end our turn there. Let's uh, take this thing out with the. Um, well, we'll take. We'll go after the big guy with the missiles. Um, let's get all of those firing in that way. And 
that one's now we haven't killed it off like we haven't got the internal systems enough but we've certainly sort of done a little bit there so we'll just keep that one back no point scanning or doing anything else let's just leave that one where that is these guys can also attack this one they can't attack that one at the back but we can actually go for this one here at this range so we'll go the um, nuclear missiles sorry we'll go and, and hit this guy there we go and we've now got rid of one of his nuclear missile launchers We'll just keep on targeting this this one here. Now, both of his uh, launches have now been taken out. So he's no longer really a threat. But let's now just move out of the way and just see where see if these things are following our smaller ships. Uh, everyone has now fired this turn. There we go. Now we've gone through a lot of its uh, shielding. We've got a lot of sh of these coming through, a lot of missiles. Uh, chance to hit the missiles. We don't have any chance with this one here. Now we can try to take this one out. This one is so close to being killed off now. Let's just go and move this one across. It's not going. This one is no longer a threat, but we'll still get rid of it anyway. Actually, I might as well go after this one now. Just keep on doing damage to that shield. A bit more structural damage. Yeah, the battleship's not going to last long. Uh, nothing else we need to do there, so let's just move this one up to see if we can actually get in the way of these missiles. I don't know if we're going to be able to take these out. This one doesn't have any point defense, so we'll just leave that one where that is. Ooh, okay, this one's now really badly damaged. This neutron beam has been taken out. It's, um, it's, its point defense has now been taken out as well, so it's not really got a lot, and it's it's overheating. It's, it's very, very high heat. Um, this thing here is essentially we can kill that one off whenever we feel like it. So I might as well do that now. Bang, it's gone with the, just a, with our lowly old frigates. This one here, its front shields have now dropped completely. So we'll just do a bit more damage. And really, we should actually be able to kill this thing off pretty much straight away. Well, actually, when, once these new, new missiles actually do hit. So they're going after the star base, which is fine. Um, the star base... We've still got the 30 shields, which is fine. So we haven't, nothing's really sort of damaged us there at all. There we go. We've now taken out all of its weaponry. Its fusion drive has now gone completely. It's just got a little bit of structural health left. Let's finish it off. Got it. Excellent. Okay, so we've now destroyed that one. We've still got to wait now 25 turns before we get a chance to um, use the containment again. Um, well, that now does mean that we can now move back up to here with this fleet. <laughs> so we'll do exactly that. Um, yeah, that's good. So we've actually now sort of got everything everything working in there. That was that was fantastic. So no way out. Just, uh, destroy a, a fleet trapped in a containment field. There's an achievement that we achieved. Report in the battle at Finn. So there it was in all its glory. The battleship now destroyed. That's going to hurt them a lot. And uh, Vuz Tajal levels up as well. So we'll give this one... I think we're going to go... This one's only on a frigate. So I'm going to go back to command so it can actually go to the, get a cruiser for itself. I should put it onto, a, um, onto, another, uh, onto another craft, I think. We've got activist. Or oh, propulsion research. I'll go this way. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um... Happy times. <laughs> Happy times indeed. Uh, we've got one freighter fleet left over at this point in time. 30 turns before we get the next missile cruiser. Um, we've still got 16 support points. Might start to design up a battleship as well, I think. And just so we can sort of have that really dominating what we're doing. I think that our by investing so heavily in getting higher level tech for attack and defense, we're, we're going to have very, very strong fleets. So we don't have to worry too much about what they're doing. We'll get back the Zealous system anyway, and um, just go next turn here. Uh, 
here we go. We've got a, um, another fleet coming through here. This is one destroyer. Uh, we have other ships going back up the other way. Now, the one destroyer going back into the Izuno system uh, will be trying to, trying to take this one back from us. So uh, we'll actually... It's got six turns before it gets there. I'll just send a destroyer back there to, uh, to meet that, and then we'll destroy it. They're not going to have much left over, to be honest. Uh, so next turn... Um, yep. Okay, we've got the, um, this is the Zealous system back and through here. We have um, Select Combat, if you wish. Uh, yep, so we'll just take that one back again. We'll just Occupy. That then gives us back this one, which gives us, puts all of these other things in range now. We've got two destroyers back there. We've got one destroyer there, one destroyer there. <laughs> plus another system out that side. I'm thinking we just move one of the beamers back to take out this guy. He'll, he'll then run away. And we get there in three turns. We just wait for him for a couple of turns. So let's do that. Let's move one of the... Um, one of the fleets, we've got the fleet here at Ziella. Let's move one of the frigates over here. And then we've got these guys are all going back. Let's go and, and cause some issues for these support ships. Where is it? It's the beamer. Then we've got the missile in the other, other one here. Let's go after these two destroyers. So we'll just start to put some pressure on. It's a shame we lost that other one. Um, I, don't, I don't have anything for this one to do. I do have spy, spy missions available if I did click on this one, which I'm not going to bother with. No, let's not bother. Let's not bother. All right, so we've got the Neutron Star. Uh, we've got, um, now this is the Loroth system. Let's go and take over. Well, I've got everything I can actually take over here, through here. So I'll go and set up. We've got a medium, we've got a large back on the outside. Let's go and take the large to start with. Uh, we'll occupy this. And we'll be able to just take this one after it, one after it each time, basically, just to sort of uh, cause more and more issues. Now, this one here, they've got ETA of two there. They've got the um, actually got they've got more here than what we thought. They've got more frigates available. They've got uh, ETA of one there with their support ships, so they're escaping from the attack that's coming in. Um, yep, four more turns. That one's going to go back down to there new sector we can start to sort of do more more research in through this side and I'll go this way now infrastructure we'll just keep on going with the ships um, everything else is looking good here very very good okay so we'll um, end our turn Oh, hang on, what was it? We've got uh, unassigned exploitation. Okay, we do have to just go back into here. So we didn't actually exploit this. I think with this being so far away, I'm just going to have this one as a trade. Just to get money. Get money from it. Okay, next turn. Tee off system. We have a... Um, the two destroyers and three frigates. Uh, okay, select combat if you wish. If you're the defender, click on the fleet that you wish to attack. If you're the attacker and the defender has a settlement in the system, the fight must happen there, and you need to settle on the, the click on the settlement to initiate the combat. In that case, so they have a settlement here, so I can't just click on this one. I'm going to have to actually click on this one here. Do I want to take that on? The destroyers and the frigates really aren't that strong. I think we're going to be okay. Let's do this. It's a little bit daunting with what they've actually got in here. Oh, they have an orbital station as well. 
so maybe we will actually run away from this. We'll just we'll just see how we go to start with. So I'm just going to move this one around. Um, let's start to damage some of these. Now that one's got shielding now, so this is actually a different sort of frigate than we've seen before. Alright, we're going to need a lot more point defense. And they're using long range uh, weaponry through here as well. So we're going to need to flee out of here. Let's just go and do another shot on this. And let's get out of here. So if I just move down to say here, I'm then going to flee. This one here, they're not targeting this one just yet. So I'm going to stay in the fight just a little bit longer here. And we'll go after, I might go after, the, after these frigates. Destroyed one of those. Destroyed that one. That one's out of there. So that then sort of leaves a lot of their their stuff behind. Let's get rid of you. We've still got um, two more turns of missiles here. See how we go with these missiles. I think we're going to be okay here. So we'll um, just keep it sort of happening. I'm taking out the ships. And I don't think I'm going to get a chance to take this one out. This is our last shot with the missiles. And so we'll now run. We're going to have to fight off these anyway. Get that one finished off. All right, so that was that was pretty good. So ours both fled. We did destroy the two destroyers, three of the two of the three frigates. Uh, didn't get the, the star base, but that will that will come. <laughs> so we're doing fairly well through. This is the the Lorth system again. So let's just go and take the center. We'll occupy this. I don't think they're going to get the stuff back now. Uh, so we've got one frigate there, one destroyer there. The support ships are back in through there as well. They've still got the one destroyer. We're getting our destroyer back to uh, meet up with them. Uh, we've got a leader. This one is Daisy. Colony leader, not really ready for that one, so maybe later again. Um, everything else is looking good here. So we come back to the Ziala system, uh, and then we'll bounce back in again and just keep on putting the pressure on. I need to keep on getting more of these other ships. Even, this, even our lowly old frigates are uh, certainly... Uh, you know, really worthwhile just to sort of go and, and patrol uh, through the through the various systems. I think one of our frigates would be able to take out one of their destroyers. It's a bit hard now that we're sort of seeing their destroyers are certainly better than what they were, and the frigates are as well. But we're doing okay. Uh, we are going to need to get uh, point defence though. Uh, we'll just go next turn, I think. Um, yep, nothing else we need to do. Ultrawave scanner is 14 turns away, that's a long way away. Colony ship is still five, and then we'll sort of be able to then take the OFI system. The Lorth system, we've got um, this one through here, we'll occupy, and we'll make that into a trade hub. So the exploit will be just trade. Okay, so we've now taken over this whole system. Um, they're coming back and then we'll be able to make use of those. They've got one colony ship there. Now I wonder where they're going to send that. It'll be interesting to see if we can see where that one actually does go. We might even move... We're not seeing the others. They may be sort of masking other things through here. I won't send that one off on its own. Let's just leave it. 
Two more turns, but we're waiting for that one there. So we're going to be okay there. Oh, hang on. What have we got? We've got a um, idle construction in Rastir. Uh, we'll go and get more outposts and more. F Actually, I can get the Imperial Garrison here as well. I, do I wouldn't mind getting these just for protection. Let's just go that way. We'll get that one first, and then we'll get the outpost ship, and then a freighter fleet. And we also then had yep, the Imperial. Uh, next in queue is now the Imperial Garrison at Rastir. Colony ship coming in four twenty-one for the missile cruiser. Okay, um, one more turn, and then we have this fight in through this side. Let's go north again with this group. Go to the T-off system, and we'll destroy the um, we'll destroy that uh, star base now. The colony ship hasn't moved. It should move back to the Trier Bath system. Just go next turn. Yep, there they go. Um, now we've got the... Now we need to sort of click on this one here. So select combat if you wish. If you are the defender, click on the fleet that you wish to attack. If you're the attacker and the defender has a settlement in the system, the fight must happen there. So we'll go after them. Our beamer versus their sting. Now we know that they're... They're, they're, um, this is now a bigger and better weapon than what it was. So we'll just go to combat. Um, I think. I'm going to have to move in a bit closer. Yeah, we'll just move in here. Hardly any damage done. They've got good shielding. They've got as good a shielding as what we've got. We don't have as good as armor, actually. This they're actually better than what we than what we are. So we might have to um, be careful what we do here. Um, we've got two shots in there. a lot. It would have, I would have liked to have scanned what they had. Um, what do we have? We've got the five lasers in through here. We only have the point defense, which isn't really going to do anything, I don't think. No, we can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and um, if we haven't really taken any damage, we've done some damage to them. I might actually run from here. Actually, no, I won't. Yeah, oh God, it's sort of hard. It's hard to know. We've only got lasers. This is not the design that I thought we had. And we've only got tri titanium armor on this on this beamer. This is not the high armor guy that we thought we had. So let's let's flee from this. Let's just go and do one move out to say here, and flee. Fled. Okay, so they're going to take over the Azuno system. Here we go. We've got the Dazbot Empire again. Um, let's go next. So we're up against the humans. Oh, votes for the president of the Human Federation. We'll just go next. There we go. So they got 52. They're getting close. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to be careful here. We've got to be careful. I'm going to keep on focusing back down here in our, into our core systems. Um, everything else is looking good here. So we'll just go next turn. Okay, that's now a bit of a problem. We're going to have to um, we're going to have to work on this. We've got, well, we're going to have to retrofit this destroyer. Is really the first step. Uh, this is the Tiof system. So we've now come back into their planet. They've got um, the enemy has the initiative in place last. You'll be the first to play. So they've just got a lowly old frigate plus the orbital station. So we'll destroy the orbital station now. Just go to the combat. So their frigates are a little bit more dangerous than what we had had originally thought. Let's just move these in. In fact, let's scan 
Let's not move, let's, let's scan with this onto this one here. So we've got neutron beams back and through the side. Um, they do from 10 to 20, that's not too bad. And then this guy here is a long way off. So we'll just do a scan. Yep, so we've got small shielding. It's not going to really worry us too much in turn. Now that didn't move, which means that this is now targeting this guy over here. Um, we do have 12, we've got the Wurzite armor, so I think we're going to be okay even with against what they have, but we don't have any, we don't actually, we can't target this. So I'm going to move up to say here. I might just stay back. Although I can get the shots in on this, so maybe we'd take this up. Take a take the damage as you know we missed. Okay, we'll end our turn there. Not much damage done there. This will take a bit of time to get through this. Just go after that again with another group of, of missiles here. Just let that take on what that's going to take on. Let's just face this one away and then we'll sort of we'll bounce around again. There we go. I think we're going to get through this. again. These other ones I think will we'll start to now smack their way through. We'll see how we go. We've gotten rid of their armor. Um. <clears throat> destroyed. And yeah we're getting we're getting right into this thing now. Okay we didn't take much damage there. Let's just Rotate this one around. Just let it sort of let these come after us a little bit. Okay, we're out of missiles now. We've just got the lasers. We'll just stay in the fight and just see if we can destroy this thing. Okay, they've got still got nuclear missiles, but they're actually out of out of the actual missiles themselves. Everything else has now been brought down. Um, I can't do much else with these other than just protect ourselves. So let's just go and um, target maybe this one here. Okay, we didn't do much damage there. Destroyed that one, that's good. And really, that's it. We've, we've done it. So we've killed off the frigate plus the star base. This is getting quite interesting. Uh, just click on done. That means that the tee off system is now in trouble, and um, and we've essentially now got it. Uh, like we don't know much about it. What have they got? This uh, richness is unknown. It's colonised by the Palatine Assembly. They've got six population here. Ground combat strength is ten. Yep. So they've got um, uh, one plus one point two from tr Tritanium armor, uh, personnel shields, or personal shields as well. Yep, I think they'll be okay. Um, we'll have to start to build up. I'm, I could just keep on going through destroying what I can find. Like we've got other other things up through here now as well that I could just go after. So the Neri system, for example. Let's just go and, and claim all of this stuff. We don't know what's there. Um, Now they're moving back again, which means that I might as well just bounce back and take this <laughs> while we're here. Can we level up? So she's got command. Now she's got the genius trait. We can take her straight from being able to command cruisers into battleships. Let's just do that. 
Okay, and she's got Helmsman, so plus 15% 15, 15 ship defense to the leadership or trader. Let's go with Helmsman. Well, we're out of time, guys. We're out of time. We've now got the outpost ship has been built. Uh, hang on, what are we up to? We got, no, we're up to the outpost ship. Got a colony ship one turn away. I think it's a good time to leave it. So let's leave it here, and we'll come back, and, um, and uh, then we'll sort of keep on trying to... Uh, hinder what's happening in through here. Let's have a quick look before we go at where we are. Now, they're still rocketing up through here with tech. Their production has now fallen down to, to our level. The fleets have now dropped in. We've destroyed... That's their battleship. This is their. This is the other things that we've been destroying. So they've now gone in below us in, in terms of the fleet strength. The population, they're now slightly below us. Uh, culture, they're miles ahead of us. And overall, they're miles ahead of us. So tech, they're certainly rocketing ahead. I'm going to need to start invading their, their, their systems and sort of take the planets away from them. Anyway, we'll leave that for another time. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.